Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Scorpios. And I will be using my Witch's Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be learning, I'll be using learning tarot cards. If you guys are interested in any of the tarot decks that I use, look in the description and you will see most of the cards that I do use. You'll see a link to them. Um, also, there's a link to the crystal bracelets that I wear. They're from Otter Spirit. If you use my link, you will get 20% off. Okay, babies? So, Scorpio, let's see what message or messages we have for you. So Scorpio, this is for you. The Knight of Wands, adventure, change, confidence, passion. The Ten of Pentacles coming into some unexpected finances. The Five of Pentacles, you got the mindset of lack. But let me tell you something, Scorpio, stop worrying, okay, babies? Stop worrying. The Five of Pentacles. You got the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is about success, victory. You have the fool. There's a new beginning in store for you, babies. And we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands could be a Leo or Aries or a Sagittarius. Or maybe you found your courage. Then you have the Ace of Wands. About a creative new beginning here. We have the tower. There might be a moment of chaos and confusion. And we have the page of pentacles, bringing in good news in regards to financial matters. So let's see. So let's see. On top of the Knight of Wands, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the King of Pentacles, and we have the Hierophant. So Scorpio, something in the past um, came pretty fast and could have been an Earth, en um, Earth energy, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Whatever this energy is, you learned a lot from this energy, okay? Um, this, this energy could also be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. They're very grounded. Um, they're not a risk taker. They have a very magical energy around them. But whatever this energy is, it brought in a lot of knowledge to you in a very fast time. You got the Eight of Wands. You have the Cap, <laughs> the Capricorn. You have the Earth, King of Earth, and you have the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant could also be a marriage, okay? Then we got the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles is about, um, the Ten of Pentacles is about coming into something financial, unexpected. It's enough to take care of you and your family, but you, it might have, to, it might be something to do with court, okay, or something legal, because um, we have the Justice card here. Just make sure you set up with integrity, and you will win. 
um, the two of swords, you're going to have to make a tough decision. And after you make that tough decision, things will move forward. You might go on a trip somewhere. You might even move somewhere and move to a foreign country. But you are you, most likely you're going on a trip after you finish this situation here. You're going somewhere. You have happy. You're happy with choices and the outcome. Your hard work is paying off and you're experiencing life. The Justice card, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Then the Five of Pentacles, the mindset of lack set in. Why? This is past, okay? Um, you have the Four of Cups. You have the Ten of Wands, and you have the Four of Wands. So, you're deep in thought in regards to this feeling that you're going through, this lack feeling, okay? I'm here to tell you that this feeling does not last forever, all right? Um, we got the Four of Cups, we got the Ten of Wands. Because of this feeling, you're feeling kind of heavy, you know, but you're still moving. You got a heavy burden on you now. It could be the finances that you're coming into unexpectedly. And whatever it is, it's going to bring in some happiness into your, your family, into your community and environment. You have the Four of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Then you have the Six of Wands. Um, on top of the Six of Wands, you have the Ten of Cups, you have the Six of, six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. So I feel this is very victorious for you. I mean, there's going to be happiness. There's family. I mean, there's a marriage possibly. Um, you're very generous. You're giving and you're receiving. Um, you might have found balance and as well as mental clarity. You have the Ten of Cups. You have the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. And along with that comes a new beginning. Um, on top of the fool, there's going to be celebration. You're going to receive good news. Probably about this new beginning for you. There's going to be a celebration. You're going to start feeling pretty balanced and stable. I got the emperor. I own, I am my own authority. I have the will and the power to create my life's structure. So after that, we got the seven of swords. And the seven of swords, you feel like somebody's getting away with something or maybe there's some deceitful energy around you. So pay attention, all right? Scorpio, the Three of Cups, the Emperor, and the Seven of Swords. Then we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, or maybe you found your courage. We got the Queen of Pentacles. There's definitely an Earth energy hanging around here. Um... And a fire energy again. We got the Queen of Wands again. So the Queen of Pentacles could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. This energy is a money manager. They're very creative. They're very responsible. Um, the Queen of Wands is a, has good business sense. Also, they're very courageous, okay? They are confident. A helpful friend who is well-liked. And the Three of Pentacles is about um, partnership. It's about your finances growing. It's about teamwork. So you might be having some kind of collaboration with someone. You got the Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or maybe you're just um, maybe you're just you just know how to handle the finances, okay? And you're very responsible. Now. Um, the Queen of Wands, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, or you might have found your courage to take charge of a situation where a collaboration is concerned. Now, this collaboration is going to bring in some finances for you, okay? It's some kind of partnership. Now, it's going to seem like a new beginning here. We got the Ace of Wands. On top of the Ace of Wands, we got the Knight of Wands. We got the Two of Cups, but we got the Three of Swords. That's what's bringing that tower moment. Um, something to do with this new creative beginning that you had, it was very passionate or it is very passionate. Um, just don't be hasty. Don't make too, don't make decisions too quickly. 
in regards to your love situation. You have the two of cups here. This is about partnership. It could be that partnership with the collaboration or it could be a relationship that you're in. Um, the two of cups is about union, partnership, connection, harmony, attraction, compatibility, and agreement. And then you got the three of swords and the three of swords is about a broken heart. Um, it's about betrayal and loneliness and maybe someone else being involved in your situation. You have the Knight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Three, Three of Swords. And then you got the Tower. On top of the Tower, we have the Tower, we got the Empress, and we got the King of Wands. It might be an abundance of chaos and confusion for you, but why? I'm not sure. It's because of this abundance that you are coming into maybe. Maybe this leadership role that you took. Maybe somebody don't like that idea. You know, because they got a lot of people who, you know, I mean, they, they seem at face value very happy for you. But deep inside, they don't give two craps, you know. And when you go through a towel moment here, you know, a lot, a lot of times things break down in life to be rebuilt stronger, okay. I don't want you to give up. You do have a lot of leadership skills and there is a fire energy here. Leo or Aries or Sagittarius that's around you, right? That will help you through this. But you do have the tower and it's on top of the tower. So it's definitely some chaos and confusion coming. Now, this is about abundance. It might be an abundance of this because these are both tower cards, okay? I don't want that to worry you. All right. This energy will help you through it. This fire energy. And then you have the Page of Pentacles. On top of the Page of Pentacles, you got the World, you got the Four of Pentacles, and you got the Six of Wands. The Page of Pentacles is about good news where financial matters are concerned. Whatever this towel moment was, you took control of it and you successfully wrapped it up. It's accomplished, it's done, it's over, all right? Your physical and emotional health, all is well, that ends well. Success, achievement, accomplishment, travel, complete, completion, fulfillment, sense of belonging. Then you got the four of pentacles. Now you might be holding on to someone too tight, you know, someone or a possession, you know, like you're being very possessive and you're holding them so tight that you don't want them to leave. I don't know. I know there is a little deceit somewhere. Um, we got the Seven of Swords here. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Now, the Four of Pentacles could also be saying that you're feeling quite balanced or maybe you're budgeting your finances. You're only spending on the things that you need and not, your, not what you want. Whatever the situation is, you will be successful in overcoming and tying up it. So the world, the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Let's see. Then we have the strength card. Strength begins with the choice to be kind to myself. That's to you, okay? Um, the strength card is about your personal strength, your inner strength, your courage, your bravery, your confidence, your compassion. Um, Overcoming self-doubt and being very focused, okay? Then we got the moon. You need to use your intuition. Because I think some secrets are going to be reveal revealed to you in regards to some financial matter here. We got the ace of pentacles. Come, Tico. We have the ace of pentacles. So no matter what is going on, there's going to be a new beginning now. The Ace of Pentacles is about abundance. It's about prosperity. Um, hold on. It's about prosperity, um, stability, and security. So I say no matter whatever little ups and downs you're going to go through, Scorpio, I think this is your time, okay, babies? Things are going to just start moving forward for you. Don't let these little negative bumps in the road hold you back or take you down. All right. Come on, come, come down, come. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, okay. Just won't come and sit with me. Hmm? This is Tico, little deer head chihuahua. He's a little old man. And he's going blind. Well, I think he, he just sees shadows. And if like, say if we pass him, he like jumps so badly and he can't hear too good. But we love him. So darlings, whatever is going to happen here, you're going to find an inner strength to overcome anything that you're going through. You're going to use your intuition and you're coming into abundance. This is a time for abundance for you, Scorpio. You have the strength card, you have the moon, and you have the ace of pentacles. And with that, my loves, I'm going to leave you. I love you dearly and we definitely will chat soon.